So what's up guys? We're doing something a little bit different over here on the Movies Are Terrible YouTube channel. You might even recognize the formula because I've got Holden Hardman with me and today we are doing a Christian and an atheist viewing of The Last Temptation of Christ. Neither myself or Holden have seen this movie, but it's a film that was released in like 1988 and it started a lot of controversy then. I don't exactly know why. I'm imagining it has something to do with the Temptations of Christ, so I, I'm curious to check it out. I know our boy Willem Dafoe, the Green Goblin himself, actually <laughs> plays Jeebus in this movie, so uh, it should be interesting. Holden, what do you know about this movie? Are you excited about checking it out? This is a movie I've been meaning to check out for a while. I like Scorsese. From what I understand, he's a Catholic or has Irish Catholic roots or something along those lines. I saw his film Silence. I've talked about, I think I've talked about it on the channel a few times, at least in comments. I love it, I thought it was great. From what I understand, most Christians don't like this movie. I've heard two different things. I heard that they delve into like Jesus being gay, which obviously if you're a Christian, they're like, no, you can't do that. And also that one of his temptations was, was stepping down from the cross, uh, which would have been a big thing. I, I guess I'll be the Christian in this situation, Jeremy as the atheist, and uh, we're very good friends. We, we step out of our echo chamber, which is I think not, not, not enough. enough. Uh, so we'll review it. Um, I will try to review this probably from two separate lenses I try to. One from the sort of Christian lens and one from like the narrative lens, just like the general storytelling. For example, I don't know if you saw the movie Noah a few years back where yeah. they were like, they had like rock monsters or something helping them build the ark or whatever. I can view something like that from more in terms of like just the movie narrative and separate sort of the biblical narrative out of it. I'm gonna, I wanna look at, it, at this movie through both of those lenses. So even if I'm like, uh, yeah, it was absolutely offensive to Christianity, uh, but from the film narrative, I kind of like how they made the Jesus character do this or whatever, that, that type of thing. So uh, I think this will be fun. I think this will be cool to, to, to check out together. Considering the thing is like two hours and 45 minutes long, <laughs> we're gonna jump into it. We'll talk a little bit more about it afterwards. Enjoy the show. Oh, that shot. I could do that shot. <laughs> you know how much I love Willem Dafoe being cast as Jesus? I just get a hoot out of that, man. Yeah, it's pretty great. Mr. Julia. <laughs> well, he's flogging himself, are you? Who are you? Why are you following me? <laughs> Kaitel was nominated for a Razzie. From the, <laughs> oh, for this, really? Mm -hmm. Do you hear? Where's your mind? Do you hear what I'm saying? You're a disgrace! Romans can't find anybody to make crosses except for you! You're a coward! <laughs> I won't let you know! So Jesus was a carpenter. Did he actually make crucifixes? So it'd be news to me if okay. he made crosses. <laughs> what happened there? Wait a minute, what? This really just drops you in the middle of a bunch of what the fuck? I don't know what's going on. I guess their narrative is that Jesus is the only Jew carpenter that makes crucifixes to kill Jews. Mm. Woof. He will not abandon you. 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 Oh my gosh. <laughs> On YouTube, right? <laughs> what? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's weird kind of watching this with you. Oh, is it like a situation they're like taking turns? Like paying? Oh, that's what it. Oh, Mary Magdalene getting turned. Jeez, man. Gosh. Yeah, I can see why uh, a lot of Christians would appreciate this. <laughs> I'm afraid of everything. I don't ever tell the truth. I don't have the courage. Dang. Man, I freaking hate snakes, dude. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Tonight that was purified. I can't fight with God anymore. Here. Here's my neck. Uh. I'm ready. He got a Razzie for this, you said? I don't know if he won it, but he got nominated. nominated. Yeah. I don't think he's doing that bad. 
Now, Judas with a Brooklyn accent is fantastic. <laughs> it's awkward, right? There's some, there's just something that's a little off about this, right? Like Kaito's hair. Oh. That's that's crazy looking. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> He said, idiot, move. No. No. I don't want this. Well, we want it. <laughs> <laughs> she works on the Sabbath. She goes with Romans on the Sabbath. She broke Moses' law. She died. Hey, I'm over here, over here. Who has never sinned? It's my, probably my favorite quote. Who has never sinned? Which one of you people has never sinned? Who is without sin and cast the first sin. thing? <laughs> Come up here. I have nothing to hide. Good. Take this. It's bigger. He's seen you cheat your workers. He's seen you with that widow. What's her name? Judith. <laughs> Judith. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that they kept the point of that intact, though, you know? What if I say the wrong thing? What if I say the right thing? Come closer. We're all a family. Can you hear me? Oh, we can hear you fine. I'm the farmer. The farmer is me. And two and two <laughs> makes four. Another lunatic. What's the seed? Love. Love one another. Listen, I used to think God was angry too, but not anymore. He blew over me like a cool breeze and said, stand up. We're also making it like Judas is like his number two. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The day you said if a man hits you, you turn the other cheek. I didn't like that. <laughs> Only an angel could do that. You don't build the house from the roof down. You build it from the foundation up. The foundation is the soul. The foundation is the body. Uh, I think they were actually cousins, Jesus and John the Baptist. <laughs> Even from behind. Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine like an Easter Sunday baptism being like this, like naked women like in the water. <laughs> it's ancient twerking going on out there. <laughs> uh, guys, what are y'all doing? It's kind of the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament. Yeah, the idea of like a God's wrath of the wrath old of, and yeah. God's love of the new. Mm -hmm. Good to see you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald McDonald watching in the distance. I'm not making out with John the Baptist. <laughs> I wanted to make out with him. <laughs> Get some time cards or something. Just yeah, seriously. A week later. I don't know. <laughs> Sexy snake time. Did that snake just say, "Look at my breast"? <laughs> it did. Okay. It did. Yeah, I'm still <laughs> oh, yo, the rib. Here we go. Or uh, his heart, Kalima. <laughs> God is inside of us. The devil is outside us. We'll pick up an axe and cut the devil's throat. I believed in love. Now I believe in this. <laughs> I have the camera shadow. I don't know if you saw it there. There too, man. What's going on? There, you, you can see the whole rig. <laughs> That's how you know you've made it. <laughs> Just condescendingly looking down while they carry you like that. You don't belong Relax. <laughs> this is actually the first miracle in the Bible. I once had a Southern Baptist try to convince me that he turned it into grape juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a keg's almost empty. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Everything you have is going to burn soon. This is what happens when a man doesn't get married. Semen backs up into his brain. Wow. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> all right. I don't know what's with the tattoos. Yeah, it's only women seem to have them except for that one guy. Leave me hanging, bro. What is that? <laughs> so Jesus actually resurrected a guy named Lazarus in yeah. the Bible. Yeah. This is just a lot, dude. So far, weird camera movements, weird story like mo like motivations for this Jesus. Weird inner dialogue. Yeah. What are they doing? They're basically uh, cheating people out of money. They're not just like vendors at a flea market. No. no. <laughs> I didn't come here to bring peace. I came to bring a sword. Talking like that will get you killed. And he pulls a shirt open. Let's see him pull out another organ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not that organ. There we go. A more accurate portrayal of Carrie and the crucifix. Yeah. 
carry the top beam. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh, oh, oh no. I'm pretty sure she's a serpent. Yeah. No, not today, you sneaky little girl. <laughs> Get behind me, Satan. She's just floating. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I noticed that too. <laughs> She's got long legs. <laughs> She's at eye level wherever she goes. Yeah. Yeah. She needs to be careful in that case. Probably flew into New Zealand for that shot. Yeah, it looks like it. Something. I don't trust this sneaky little uh -huh. girl. No. It's a girl, so like, bound to be bad. She's the original Takashi Six Nine. <laughs> All those face tattoos. Mary Madeline, the OG Takashi. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks. It reminds me a lot of like a play. It like does. A lot of this. Hey, the little girl there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that happened fast. Oh, geez, you got freaking quick. Oh, she's just hanging out there, isn't she? <laughs> All these sets are very simple, too. I wonder what the budget... Was this one of his early films? Not one of his earliest films, though. I mean, Mean Streets and Goodfellas had already been out. Goodfellas huh? was first? Mm-hmm. We could create these, like, all of us. There's nothing here that we could do. God? Are you going to kill God? <laughs> Mary Magdalene died, but Mary, Lazarus's sister, She's Magdalene with a different face. She's carrying your greatest joy inside her. Wait, now she teleported the baby from inside Magdalene into Lazarus' sister? Yeah. Yeah. The point is that women are interchangeable. You can knock any <laughs> one of them up. Jeez. I get letting Magdalene die and being like, oh my gosh. But then why, why this? Why is this needed? In there. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Then. I cheated, I gambled, I whored, I drank. Tortured and murdered. 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 And I loved it. I thought I was doing God's will. I was struck oh, by a Paul. white light that blinded me. Paul was Saul, right? Yeah. Well, that was Jesus that said that, though, in the Bible. They're going to circle back to that, uh, it's not the truth, but it's the message that's important. That's a problem I could see with uh, a lot of Christians. That's the vibe I'm getting from this. And now the world of God is open to every one of us, to everybody. Did you ever see this Jesus of Nazareth after he came back from the dead? No, but I saw a light that blinded me. He's a liar. Saul was a murderer of Christians and Jews. That's why his conversion was so impactful. He's not some crazy guy. He resented Christians. Don't try and tell me what happened to me because I know. I live like a man now. I work, eat, have children. Look around you. Look at all these people. Do you see how much they're suffering? Their only hope is the resurrected Jesus. Yeah. I don't care whether you're Jesus or not. The resurrected Jesus will save the world. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I created the truth out of what people needed and what they believed. You see, you don't know how much people need God. You don't know how happy he can make them. You know, I'm glad I met you, because now I can forget all about you. My Jesus is much more important and much more powerful. Oh, I did disservice to my boy Paul, too. My favorite apostle, Jeremy. We did what we were supposed to do. You didn't. You're a coward. I want to bring salvation. Father, take me back. He just Ebenezer Scrooge all that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, man, <laughs> we made it, dude.